compost roll time. A little nervous. So we have our carbon paper. We have our food, blended food, and a couple of other fun things we might add because I would put them in anyway. And then here we have perfect castings, beautiful, fresh, live, microbial castings with a bit of savory blend in there. We've got lots of garlic skins, tons of garlic skins, some onion skins. We even have some jicama skin in here. So lots of fun leafy type stuff. Lots of grit, powdered grit, which is eggshell. I'm not breathing right now. Okay, I turned away to breathe. I think that's good. That'd be a good buffer. I am kind of nervous about just becoming acidic going through a fermentation in the rolls. As I've seen it work, I love the concept. Sort of a longer time for the food to macerate, break down, um, and the microbes to take over. And by that time, the paper becomes saturated and breachable and will start to break and then the worms can make their way in. So let's get started. Okay, let's do one scoop of this, small scoop of this, small scoop of this, I'll scoop of this, another small scoop, okay, and let's put in an avocado pit, okay, and I think that's good. I'm going to try filling in the quiet zones during the speedy part since this is my cartoon voice. Now we are assembling some compost rolls, rolling up some blended foods. Okay, we started with the carbon all down in one place. Okay, so start out with a little bit, this will be a narrow one. Start out with a little bit of compost, a little bit of vermicompost, a piece of garlic. This is the nitrogenous food source along with some active vermicompost full of beneficial microbes who will be starting the process and breaking down that food. Okay. A little bit of vermicompost plus eggshells, etc. and some savory bits. A little bit of this. A little bit more of that. And one of those. Makes the food available and healthy so the worms can do the rest of the work. A little bit of vermicompost and savory bits and eggshells. And a little bit of this. Bit of this and a little bit more of this. And some of that. Put it some fun savory bits of garlic skins and a good helping of finely ground eggshells as a buffer and for grit. One more 
down. Compost, which makes this an activated starter. I need lessons from Susie to make them a little more pretty. Oh, okay. A little bit of fresh vermicompost and other stuff. Wop. Wop. Paraphrasing Mark Thomas Paine from Eve Growing about the compost roll. Mark has fashioned a system in which he uses these compost rolls in a set and forget connected bucket fermenting system. It's great for vermicomposting while allowing for lots of options for using some very diverse inputs. So remember, the nitrogenous food will be safe inside the wrapper, keeping the two separate and cool. One more down. Now the paper wrapping will keep it from all mixing together. This way, less heat will be generated within the rolls. It's important to know that if you do mix the nitrogen with the carbon, the rolls could heat up. This paper wrapping here is the carbon source. Often we use paper and cardboard that's been shredded or minced as the carbon bedding source. If we were to roll that here in with these composting rolls, some serious heat could be generated especially if you're loading many of these rolls into your bin or system. Mark warns this is not a good idea for fermenting, though he does think it might be a good idea during wintertime for those who have outside bins. He says that these mixed rolls, if done right, could get your worms in bins through a cold winter. So at this time, we have seen the process of rolling all the stuff up into the carbonous paper, where it will serve as bedding and food. It's like it's been built into a perfectly balanced time capsule of microbially impressive activities. When the rolls have begun to decompose, the worms will compost them completely. Given enough time, this system will deliver us some live, beautiful castings, the black gold that we can use to amend our earth and grow more naturally. The compost roll system is an alternative way to feed your farms. Ideally, it will effectively cover the food, helping to prevent flies and other critters from getting in. It also helps to keep smells down during the decomposition process. So this wrapper acts like a barrier of sorts. It's kind of similar to burying the food within the bin and keeping it covered with more carbonous dry shreds. This would be as an all-in-one process to keep your nitrogenous food covered, buried, inoculated, and rolled into a nice packet of carbon bedding. I made this video as a project to begin doing what many have been doing in my home group, Worm Composting UK. This is an incredible Facebook group having epic contributions with well-renowned people from all over the world. It's been referred to as a treasure trove. So I kind of want to keep it a secret, but also I'd like to share it with you guys. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd also like to see membership numbers grow on my channel. So if you click the subscription button, I will be overjoyed and you will get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks all for watching and go ahead, try rolling it up in a compost roll. All together, I think we've made about 15 rolls, which I will be feeding to the farms right now. Here we have a wheelie bin full of compost rolls.